Hello, my beautiful divas. In this video, we're talking about the five texting mistakes that are still keeping you single. Now, if you are a high achieving woman, you are probably doing everything you can to the best of your abilities to succeed at online dating, but you're not getting results. And what you're getting is just men who keep fizzling out. The conversations keep dying out. They never get anywhere. You don't get real dates from the kind of men you know you're deserving of. Then you want to make sure you want to watch this video right to the end because I'm going to be giving you the five texting mistakes that are keeping you single and that you need to stop immediately doing so that you can get amazing results in your love life and get those amazing men asking you out on real dates. This is dating and relationship expert Sammy Wonder. I'm so excited you're here ladies. My forte is helping high achieving women find amazing love in their lives and I have some pretty phenomenal client results to show that my process works. All right, so if you're new here, make sure you've hit the subscribe button, the bell icon, and if you're already a subscriber, woohoo, we love you. All right, so the five texting mistakes that are keeping you single. Texting mistake number one. You are still sending very polite yet very boring text messages. Now, how do I know this? I know this because I used to be exactly like this, right? I had no schooling in flirting. If a guy said, hi, how are you? I would say, I am great. How about you? And guess what? I'd never hear anything back from them. Now, this does not mean that you have to become this seductive, super flirtatious woman. But what it does mean is that you want to think about you know, what kind of messages are going to capture a high quality man's attention online? Because if we're just doing the hi, how are you? I am fine. How about you? Then it's just really boring, really dry. And the chances are that for a man who is high caliber, busy with his life, his inbox is already full of those dry, boring texts. So you do not want to make this mistake. You want to start thinking of ways to, you know, have more intrigue in your texts, have more texts that are capturing a man's imagination and attention. And if you don't know how to do that, don't worry, because I am definitely going to be covering that in one of my upcoming videos. All right, texting mistake number two, sending very long texts. So I once had this client who showed me her text exchange with a man she liked and he simply after their first date messaged her to say, hey, how's your day going? And my sweet, innocent client who happened to be just like I was, you know, sent him a really long text. His text was one sentence and she basically described everything she did in the day. And she told him that she went to meet her university friends and how they had a blast. And then they spent time at the Venice beach and how now she's back and she's had one too many cocktails, what they had for dinner and how they tried oyster. And to be honest, a part of me was like, wow, this woman has such a beautiful, authentic heart. And yet I also know as an expert, what works and what doesn't work with men. And this kind of, you know, sending so much long text to like a man's bare effort text is not really the kind of response um, a man is expecting from a high value woman, from a diva. It's just a little too much too soon. So if you're in the zone of sending long detailed texts with a lot of info in them, ding, ding, that's mistake number two. You don't want to do that. Now, what is texting mistake number three? Over sharing. So just like we don't want you to send very long texts to men, we also don't want to overshare information. So for example, my client and myself, we were um, having this conversation on a session and she said, Sammy, you have no idea how much I tend to overshare. Um, he didn't even ask me what I was doing that evening, but I just told him that I was going out with my friends and we were going to the museum and blah, 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 blah. And um, it's interesting why we women tend to do this, because I think as women, we tend to relate a lot and connect a lot with our girlfriends when we can do a lot of, you know, sharing, sharing, Twitter, Twitter, and give each other a lot of information. But oversharing inside a dating equation completely kills the mystery and it completely kills a man's pursuit of you. So if you're oversharing, 
don't beat yourself up. I always tell my clients, if they judge themselves for making a mistake, um, I always tell them, you cannot lose the right man for you, okay? So every man you've lost so far, he wasn't supposed to be your soulmate, but how fun and how amazing that you get this information now so that you're not making these mistakes in the coming future. Now, texting mistake, Number four is being too available. So what do I mean by being too available? It means that, you know, when a man wishes you good morning and you say good morning and then he asks you in the middle of the day, how's your day been so far? And you say, it's been good. How about yours? Yeah. And then in the evening when you come back home, he's again sending you that good night moonshine text. I hope you had a wonderful day. And then you again respond and saying good night. And then when you wake up in the morning, there's another picture waiting with his breakfast and you feel you don't want to respond, but you still end up responding because you have the belief system that you don't want to look too disinterested and you don't want to look rude. And so what do you do? You end up responding again and saying, great breakfast. Okay, my love, this is a major texting mistake many single women make, which is that they are just too available over text. You don't want to do this because when you are so easily available, it totally takes away a man's sense of mystery towards you, a man's sense of intrigue towards you, a man's desire to pursue you and chase you. So even the least effort a man sends your way, he gets your attention. And so there's not enough incentive there for him to step up and do grand gestures, arrange a day, bring you flowers, surprise you, because he can just send you that picture of a bouquet of flowers and there you go, the flowers are there, right? So being too available on texting is actually a major attraction killer and it's a major texting mistake that so many amazing women out there are making simply because they think that they don't want to appear disinterested in men. But here's the truth, ladies. A man who's truly interested in you, an empowered masculine energy man, he's firstly not hanging out on his phone all day and he doesn't expect you to hang out on your phone all day, right? While a little bit of texting in the middle is nice to, you know, keep in touch in between dates, being too available, immediately answering all the texts are the texting mistakes you do not want to be making. Now, last but not the least, texting mistake number five is falling into the texting trap. So often I see that things are going great between a guy and a girl that are seeing each other. After the first few dates, what men start to do is that they send a lot of informative uh, texts. And what starts to happen is that the real relationship that was building over dates gets replaced by what I call the texting trap. Okay, now inside of the texting trap, what happens is that men and women start to confuse the real relationship for an illusional relationship through the medium of phone texting and devices, right? So you start to think that the relationship is building because you guys are texting a lot and every day and exchanging pictures, but actually no really real relationship is building because real relationships only build in person, okay? You've got to see each other face to face. I can't tell you the number of times my clients have um, virtually connected with men and then when they've met each other, my clients have gone like, oh my God, he looks so much different than his pictures. He looks so much older. He's got so much more weight than his pictures. And it's just a complete disaster so many times. Not always, but a lot of the times. And this is why it's so important to not fall into the texting trap with men, to not like exchange these good morning, good night, bouquet pictures, doggy pictures kind of texts with men. To keep it really to the point and to make sure that you are seeing the man on real dates. I do actually have a YouTube video which shows you exactly what text to send a man to make him ask you out. So if you're in that situation and you need help in that department, make sure to click on that video on my YouTube channel and check it out. Now, ladies, before you go, I have two quick requests for you. One, if this video was helpful, if you learned something, and I really hope you're not beating yourself about these common texting mistakes, but if you learned something, I'd love a quick like and a comment underneath. Okay, I always try to get back to my subscribers and engage with the comments you ladies send us. So if you have questions, comments, 
If this was helpful, leave a comment and leave a like. And of course, subscribe to my channel. It really means the world to me. Now, action number two is I have a free gift for you. It's a webinar that I have recorded. It's called From Single to Soulmate. And it gives you the three shifts that I believe are the most important shifts that high achieving single women need to make in order to get quick results in their love life, magnetize men and create their dream relationship and their dream family, which is what my mission is about, helping millions of high achieving successful women find and keep amazing love in their lives. So if you'd like to have, um, you know, get inside this training, all you have to do is click the link in the video description below. And of course, um, I want to make sure that everyone is aware of my Attract Your Soulmate program, which is where I lay out my six step soulmate attraction method. And I take you through all the important, the most important shifts that I believe high achieving women need to make in order to bring in their soulmate. The program is so powerful, ladies. It is helping women go from single, recover from divorce, recover from breakup to attracting an amazing man and husband, sometimes as quickly as just six months to even a few weeks, right? So it's a powerful process. I want you to go check this program out on my website, sammywonder.com. And if it calls you, please do join. I love hearing the results and the transformation women get from my programs. All right. So that's it from me today. I love you guys. And I'm going to see you again very soon on another video on this channel. Mm -hmm.